Guys, this is Maddie, and we're here at the Deli, uh, Dairy Salem Elks, and we're here for the Kids Fest, and we brought uh, the fire truck engine one from Main Street in, in Salem, and um, we kind of just given tours of what's in the truck, what we do, and we're gonna head to the driver's seat. You wanna go to the driver's seat? All right, come on over. So there's three of us on this truck when we're working. We have a driver, and he's in charge of kind of handling the truck when we get on scene with the hoses, getting us water. And then um, we have someone in charge, the officer that sits on the side seat, and I can show you that after, but you want to jump on up? We'll take a drive. Excellent idea. All right. So we're real high up in this truck. So what we do when we drive around is we just want to make sure that no one's kind of jumping out in front of us when they wave to us. Um, but we wave back all the time, so definitely wave to us if you see us, okay? <laughs> and um, if you want, we can put the lights on. So this is kind of how we start the truck. And then we just hit a little button here. And when you get out, I'll show you that um, we have the lights on, okay? So when we have lights on, we're really focused on the call that we're going to. So just be careful, okay, if we're out driving on the road. Because these tires are just so tall, right? They're just as tall as you. Look at how tall Okay, right. So in the back, <laughs> in the back, guys, is uh, we have another firefighter that sits in the back. We have the integrated air packs that are in the seat. So we wear seatbelts like everybody else does when we go on the road and drive around, but those air packs we put over our shoulders and then when we get on scene, we just lean forward and that, that air pack comes right out and we can just you know go to work a lot quicker than getting out, pulling it on somewhere, putting on like a school backpack. Um, it has oxygen in the bottle because we don't like to breathe smoke just like you guys shouldn't breathe smoke. And we crawl and stay low just like you guys should. Um, our truck has a thousand gallons of water, and so we bring that with us to a call for the first couple minutes of being on scene. And we pull handles right here that makes the water come out of these pipes or out of our hoses that we have packed in the truck. We also have tools that are right easily to grab off the side, depending on what we need for equipment. We kind of call this the engineer's compartment uh, with a bunch of fittings and adapters, kind of fit any hose that we can come into on call. We carry a bunch of spare bottles that we can replace and keep going to work in an environment that isn't safe to breathe. Um, extra hoses, hoses to supply this truck with water because we only have the thousand gallons and we might need more water from, say, a fire hydrant or drafting out of a pond. Are there um, different sizes? Or, or they're different lengths, but this is, we carry four inches in, in diameter hose. And then here's a, a two and a half for us that just gets us kind of different options on what we might need on scene. Right, right. Good, good. Um, in the back here, we have what we call a hard suction hose, and it's like a straw, and we use that to, um, we call it like a static water source, so it's, it's like a non-fire hydrant water, like a pond or a swimming pool. But we take this hose and we can draft or suck up water into our truck. Um, we have a generator that gives us electricity to run, say, our fan or lights, and really long extension cord. Uh, we carry extra hoses up top. We have a ladder rack that comes down. Uh, we have a regular ladder, extension ladder, and a roof ladder. The roof ladder has hooks that we can kind of hook it to the peak of a roof and it'll keep the ladder from sliding off the roof. And we use that to step on and support our footing and everything on some slippery surfaces. Um, with that, the roof, uh, we have a chainsaw that cuts into asphalt shingles and uh, 
roof sheathing like plywood and stuff. Um, sort of like forcible entry we kind of call it, but you know, an axe, a pick head axe, uh, we call this a halligan, has the forks and adds and a pick. Um, this is uh, like a hydraulic spreader, so we'll put that in a doorway and we'll pump it up and we can kind of separate the door frame enough to get access to the latch so we can open up someone's door without kind of breaking much of anything. Because our goal is getting to, you know, definitely like a lockout or checking on somebody. We want to keep it to where we can relock it up so um, the place isn't open to anyone that can go in once we show up on scene. Um, it's the same thing, some redundancy of some tools, but it's getting off the truck and going right here for these tools and what particular fire extinguisher you need depending on the call. Um, we have our, kind of like a water rescue. We got the life jackets, um, a rope that floats on water so it doesn't sink down, you can see it. And we have a throw rope that we can throw to somebody. We also have uh, medical supplies and everything in here, and then the firefighter will sit on this side of the truck. Yeah. Um, and here is the officer's seat, we, we call it. Uh, this is the, kind of, the guy that's kind of responsible for you know, kind of running the scene um, or the firehouse when we're uh, not on a call. But this has um, like a thermal imaging camera, so it sees the difference in temperature. Um, it notices the heat difference as if something's hotter in comparison to the surrounding area. So we use that because fire is hotter than usually the surrounding um, environment, unless it's been kind of closed up in an area, say an oven, it's all going to look the same because it's all the same temperature. Um, we call this mobile uh, data terminal, MDT, and we see like what calls are on, uh, who's available for, at the time being, for uh, like who's available to go on the call or who's not in, um, who's not, yeah. Um, Does it also have, like, it must have like uh, Google Maps or something like that? It has, yeah, it has, um, it sort of just kind of gives you the bird's eye view of, of uh, where the incident is. And then you kind of see, based off roads, your landmarks on, you know, three houses up on the right is going to be the call. Um, yep. And then on the front, We have one of these ports where we can uh, suck up water in the front. Mm -hmm. So it, we have them on the sides, but to be kind of versatile, we'll have it on the front as well, so we can drive up forward to something, right, and right. then um, you know suck up water that way. Because uh, you're not always going to be able to go parallel to something. You might have this narrow area where you can only go enough width of the truck, or we have 20 feet of hard suction hose. That's the hose you saw in the back. So we'll have like 20 feet to stretch out or we can add more hoses from another truck to get us 30 feet. Um, we sort of have this one, it's a uh, hundred feet, but there's another hundred below and that sort of, we use that a lot for uh, like car fires. We'll get up close, but you want to be like a hundred feet away. So we have that easily uh, accessible and it's not, all the others are either 200, 300 feet. So this is a lot shorter, so it's a lot shorter to pack up to, so we can stay ready for the next call. Um, so that's about it. This is engine one, Main Street, Central Station. And um, we're here for the kids event. Thank you. Talk just a minute about yep. yourself. Uh, um, Lieutenant Murphy uh, started this position uh, two days ago. So yeah, I've been with the town for almost 11 years, and um, so this is a new adventure. Looking forward to it, and um, yeah. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you.